Hello everyone, we will continue the topic types of internal tables and under that we will continue the standard internal table and we already covered the first three points and now we will come on to the fourth point. In case of standard internal table, your data is not sorted by default. Yes, extremely important point again, because once we will go to future videos and we will fetch that data into standard internal table from database, whenever you will bring that data into the standard internal table. So at that time, yes, data is not sorted by default. Now the question comes, if you want to sort that data, you all know very, very well, you know the internal table operation sort. So you can use the sort statement to sort that data of the internal table, especially from the pressures in the future videos, they will come up with the query. Yes. I fetched data from the database table into standard internal table. But why it is not coming in the sorted order? Because in case of standard internal table, it is never, never the case that data will be sorted by default. Yes, if you want to sort, then you can simply, simply use the sort statement. Suppose. If I will show you, suppose in our program, suppose I will comment this insert logic and I will uncomment append logic. I will comment insert logic and I will uncomment this append logic. We are inserting five records to the internal table using append statement. Order number one, one, two, two, and three. Suppose I'm inserting one more order number to this internal table. Suppose order number is two. And payment mode is suppose N. Now, append always, always insert at the last of the internal table. So how the data will be 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, and then we have 2. And we are displaying these six records. If I will run the program, you can see this is our output. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 2. If you want to sort that data, if you want to display that data based upon the sorting order of order number, then you have to simply, simply use which internal table operation sort. So I will simply, simply use the sort internal table operation. So after inserting all the records, I will simply, simply write sort lt underscore data by o and o. What is the column name? Order number. So I sorted the internal table based upon order number. If I am not specifying anything, it will sort in ascending order. So I sorted in ascending order and now we are displaying. If I will show you the output, now you can see 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. So in case of standard internal table, it is not sorted by default. Yes, if you want to sort, you can simply, simply use the sort internal table operation. In the last video, I told you, yes, rather than insert, people will always, always use append. Why? Suppose simple example. With the help of append, you inserted the record. 
append always insert at the last of the internal table just now we appended the order number two and it inserted at the last of the internal table now if you want to go for sorting you sort internal table operation so it is very easy just use append and after that if you want to go for sorting use the sort internal table operation now now we will go for next point and it is already covered but here we will go for additional learning also now what is the next point in case of standard internal table you can read a record based upon key also based upon index also this is already already covered as a part of internal table operation yes whenever we have standard internal table we can read a record based upon index also based upon key also suppose if i will write internal table operation i will write read table lt underscore data into lwa underscore data suppose firstly suppose i am going for key i am writing with key o and o is equal to suppose i am saying one if psi sub rc equal to zero we all know after read table operation always always check for psi sub rc condition right i will write work area hyphen o n o i will write work area hyphen payment and i will write ending so in case of standard internal table you can read a record based upon key also key suppose if i will show you you all know read table always always read the first matching record only first matching record if i will put a break point here if i will go to execute i'll go to desktop three this is our internal table we have six records in the internal table now we are going for where condition what is the condition order number is equal to 1 it will check into this internal table where is the first matching record of order number 1 here we have the first matching record of order number 1 so from this internal table this record will go to work area system will not go to next record because many time people ask why why it is not going to next record because here also order number 1 is matching read table always 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 go for first matching record only now if i will do f6 now you can see the first record 1 and c moved to the work area and we are displaying and you can see this 1 and c after that this output is because of loop statement because we have loop also if i will comment the loop you will only only able to see the result of read table you can see 1 and c now we can read based upon index also index suppose rather than going for this i can read in this case we read based upon the key but we can read based upon index also suppose i am reading a particular record 
of index 3, I will simply go for syntax check and I will activate. Now, if I will show you in that debugging mode, I put a breakpoint there, desktop 3. Now, in this internal table, we have six records. We are reading the record of index 3. So, 2 and C from the internal table will go to work area. And you can see in this work area, we have 2 and C and we are displaying that. So, in case of standard internal table, you can read based upon key also. You can read based upon index also. And it is already, already covered in the internal table operation. But once we will move on to other types of internal table, these points will play a significant role there. Because now we need to compare all these three types of internal table. So in this video, we cover two more points related to standard internal table. What is the fourth point we covered? In case of standard internal table, your data is never sorted by default. If you want to sort, yes, use the sort internal table operation because in the future videos, whenever we will bring data also, into standard internal table, many times it is not sorted. So we can sort based upon sort internal table operation. After that, in case of standard internal table, if someone asks you, you can read a record on key or you can read a record on index. You can read a record on key also. You can read a record on index also if you have a standard internal table. In the next video, we will cover rest of the two points of standard internal table. So that's it in this video. Thank you.